Today, we will talk about broad money, definition, about calculation, example, and benefits. Broad money is a way to measure the amount of money circulating in an economy. It includes both cash and other assets that can be easily converted into cash to buy goods and services. Economists use a capital letter M followed by a number to refer to the measurement they are using in a given context. The formula for calculating money supply varies from country to country. Broad money includes narrow money, such as cash and checkable deposits, along with less liquid assets such as certificates of deposit, money market accounts, and anything else that can be easily converted into cash. Different countries define their measurements of money in slightly different ways, but broad money generally means the same as M3, while M0 and M1 usually refer to narrow money. In the United States, the most common measures of money supply are M1 and M2. M0 typically includes only the most liquid instruments, such as coins and notes in circulation. M3 is the broadest measurement of money and includes less liquid assets. Broad money helps policymakers better grasp potential inflationary trends and can influence monetary policy. Widening the scope of the total money in circulation comes with several advantages. It helps policymakers to better grasp potential inflationary trends. Central banks often look at broad money, alongside narrow money, to set monetary policy. Broad money growth can help forecast inflation, and central banks use it to determine what interventions, if any, they could introduce to influence the economy. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Broad money is the most flexible method for measuring an economy's money supply, accounting for cash and other easily convertible assets. 2. The formula for calculating money supply varies from country to country, so the term broad money is always defined to avoid misinterpretation. 3. Central banks tend to keep tabs on broad money growth to help forecast inflation. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.